Lil Rick, make them wine for me. Bob Bam, make them wine for me. Platz Sam, make them wine for me. Girl, come wine for me. Sit, 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 sit. Line up yourself, girl. Get, 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 get. Ready to perform. Ready to perform. Hi, and this is my phone book project. And I'm working really hard on it. And I hope I get a good mark. Um, there's, there's a lot of information. And I'm going to try and explain it as much, as much as I can for you. So, enjoy. Hi, guys. And today, let's start on our calculations. So, um... This is this is the telephone project, and I've worked really hard on it. I've said that a lot, but yeah, I did. I kind of did, and I did this all, all these calculations by myself. So let's get started. Um. So I know that. Let me just erase this quickly. Okay. So I know uh, some business. A lot of businesses there have um about there's about um 1200 businesses in Burlington and most of them have at least three phone books so that equal 3600 phone books schools there are a bit different they probably have the most phone books they, there's about 80 schools and they have about five phone books um and that would equal 400 phone books in total for all 80. Hotels and motels, there are about 100 there. And they all probably would have three. Um, so that would be 300. Homes, there's about 11,000. 11, so, yeah, about 11,000 homes. And they'd all mo most of them have only one. So that would equal 11,000. Yeah, 11,000. And pay phones, there's about 900 pay phones. And uh, they only have one, that would equal 900. Now back to the schools. Um, schools, uh, they, um, they have phone books. They, only, they have five phone books for the principal, the secretary, because they might need to call somebody, um, the vice principal, um, and they have, uh, let me think, uh, off, office, so the office inside, and they have extras. So that's for the schools, why they have phone books for the school. Let me just erase this. And yep, there's a little. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's really it for that. Okay, now it's time to add them all up to see how many we'll need in total. So we have 3,600 plus 400 plus 300. Well, yeah, 11,000. And then plus the hotels, 300. And then plus um, the payphones, 900. So that'll equal in total 16,200 phone books. So that's what we need. This is a very important number. So we want to keep that and not lose that number. If we lose that number, we're going to add it up all together, which nobody likes to do. I think we will need 6,200 phone books because Burlington is a huge city and there are way more businesses, schools, and homes than Caledonia has. Many businesses and schools have more than one phone book for purposes like not having to get up for a phone book and losing purposes. Almost all homes in Burlington have at least one phone book and most of them have only one. There are also pay phones and hotels, motels to give phone books to. Now, the phone book dimensions are really important when it comes to this phone book problem. So, first of all, we have to figure out the length, and that is 28 centimeters. The base of it, that's what we're going to call it, the base of it, the bottom of it, is 22.5 centimeters. Now for the width. The width could be really important, too. Like, you can't, probably won't be able to do this without the width. And that one is 5.5 centimeters. So that's very important for this. Now it's time to go to number two. Now the question for that is estimate the maximum number of telephone books that you that will be placed in the pallet. And but I what I did first was I have to figure I have to make my own questions and that is for this one how many books will fill the height of the pallet?
Okay, now we're going to take our 28 centimeters and times it by 4, just to see what our answer will be. And I got 122 centimeters, which is, is the height of the palette, which is very surprising. So that means 28, which is the centimeters, the phone book, the height of the phone book, times 4 equals 122, which is the height of the palette. That means four books or full four phone books can fill the height of the palette. So we know so far that four palettes can fit the height of the palette, fit comfortably or perfectly. So now the question is, how many palettes will fill the base? Now, this, this one is really important too, just like the width. So the question right now is, how many books or palettes will fill the base standing up? Now, that's the same standing up. Is the same as the height, the height standing up. So we have to do the same thing, but the base. So now we got to figure out that. Okay, so with after with our finishing result, the palette's going to end up looking like that in the corner over there with all the squares. It's very, very rough, but still. And they're going to fit long ways like I just did. And now... We're going to do the same thing as we did for how many books will fill the height standing up, and we'll do the base instead. So 5.5 .5 times 22, so we're just estimating 22, and that equals 121 centimeters, which that means we'll have one centimeter left to fill the base. So we're basically perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to draw another another palette. We know that there's going to be four phone books filling the height and drawing it all across. And so it's going to look like that now. And then and then we're going to have so we'll have four there and then 22 at filling the base. So now we know there's going to be 22 there, 22 there, 22 there, and 22 there. Okay, so let me draw another palette right here. And so now I'm going to draw the width of it. Now, I'm trying to draw three drawing right now, just like I did with the phone book. And then draw the phone books that are in there. Just like that. And now we gotta figure out the width. Now that's the last question for question two. Now that question that we have to figure out is how many books will fill the width standing up. So all of them are gonna be standing up. So, but but because it's it's not like that anymore, it's gonna be on its side. So, look, it's going to look like this now, instead of just like that, or in the corner, where it's the side of the book. It's going to be the front of the book, basically. Okay, so now we have to figure out um, how many books will fill the width. The width is 22.5 centimeters, and we're going to take that, and we're going to times that by 40. So, we're just guessing here. And I got 90 centimeters. And the width of the box is um, 107 centimeters. So we'll still have 17 centimeters left for more space. But we're just going to leave that. Okay, so this is the drawing I drew. So 22 times 16, because that is all 22. And all those squares are all 22. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Those are all 22, and there's 16 of them. So that means 22 times 16 equals 352 books, and we still have 17 centimeters at the back, and we're going to keep that there. Okay, so the big question now is how many pellets do we need? Well, that's is really important right now. So, we're going to take our number 352 and put it beside the number we need, which is 16,200. Which, that's how many phone books we need, which you can see up there. So, 
we're going to take our number 352. Yeah, let's take that. 352 and multiply it by 77. No, that's going to be way too much. So, not 77. 47. Let's try that. And really, that'll hold way more books that we need. So that means we're going to have way more space than we originally need. So, really, that's it. We need 47 pallets. Okay, so now we have to find the dimensions of the truck we need. So, this one right here, so if we stack it by like that, 107 is going to be there, and so is that one. And on th for the height, this one is going to be 122 centimeters, and so is this one. And so is the other side. So 107 times 2, and... 122 times 2, and we get 244. And for the other question, 107 times 2, we get... ...214. And now we have to find dimensions. The dimensions for the width is going to be 214 centimeters wide. And then we're going to have 244 centimeters high, or the height. And then for the length, we're going to have 200, 610 for the length, centimeters. So then we could have five going across. So four, four fives going across, if you kind of get that. So five, we're going to have five pallets going for the length. Okay, so now we have to figure out how many trucks we'll need. Each truck will hold 20 pallets. Well, two trucks will have two pallets, and the other one will have seven pallets in it. So, we'll need three trucks in total if we're going to fit all those pallets into the trucks. I went ahead online and found a truck from Discount that had these dimensions and 792 centimeters long, which is even longer than we need. I hope you enjoyed this video, Miss Morgan. Um, I worked really hard on this by myself, and I hope I get a good grade on this. Thanks for watching.